All right, I'm uh, gonna show you how I vacuum seal my skins to form them for an airfoil shape. That's one of them. And yeah, I made mirrored image skins and I forgot to flip one upside down when I laid out the pattern. So I got one skin that's inside out. That one, good thing the metal is uh, the same inside and out, same finish. So a little cleaner and that writing will come off. So at least I didn't have to make uh, a new skin. But here's the other one. This is the right side. All it is is just a plastic sheet. You just make a bag out of it, lay your part in there. You tape the bag up, but uh, you fold your sheet in half, kind of, and you tape the leading edge. I, uh, I did this without the video because it takes time, but you want to get your leading edge to be butted up to each other, or the edge, rather. And then you just stick your vacuum cleaner. It's this old shop vac. This shop vac is uh, on its last leg. It's got a bad bearing. But anyways, I will uh, just try and hold the camera for this because otherwise I wouldn't be able to get that close. But uh, it's going to get noisy. Where's my plane? It's, uh, it's a mess in here. This is an old barn that I fixed up. But uh, it works. And I got plastic hanging to help hold heat in. But uh, anyways, I'm going to start the vacuum. And you're going to see it suck right down fast. Here we go. Help it along a little. Try to pull the bag out a little. You can see it suck back down. Pretty cool though. Sucked it right flat. Yeah, <laughs> I told you the vacuum's on its last leg. But that's it. Cut the tape. Hang on one second, sorry. I only got one hand. All right. Pull the vacuum out. I'm gonna set the phone down for a minute. Slide the part out. That's it. That's a formed horizontal stabilizer skin. Sorry, I had to think about that for a minute. But I'll show you how it goes on the plane. Amateur recording here. What? It's gonna go right here, like so. That's gonna be sweet. Thanks for watching. Here's uh, the other skin. That one's all untaped. That's what this one we just did would look like. But uh, oh, and I'm using mylars which is like a pattern for the skins, in case you're wondering how I knew the exact shape of the skin and the drill holes. It was actually my last mylar for the plane. The rest of the skins are uh, all on me, on my layout. But anyways, thanks for watching. See ya.